In this video, we'll look at the work done by patent examiners and some of the key things that they require when doing a prior art search. And I'll talk about some of the ways that Dialog is especially well designed to meet the particular search needs of patent examiners. I'll break it down into three broad categories. First, we'll look at the kind of content that a patent examiner needs access to in order to do a proper prior art search. Then we'll consider what patent examiners need from the search platform itself when working with challenging searches across very large sets of records. And I'll talk a little bit about the demands on a patent examiner's time and how their workflow can be made smoother, easier, and more efficient with the design features and tools found in Dialog. So let's get started. In looking at content, let's start with the non-patent literature. Dialog has more than 100 databases across a full range of non-patent literature topics. Now, we say that we have about 100, but it is actually more. If you look at the drop-down box that lists the Dialog databases, you'll see some of them have a plus sign next to the database name. And although we only count these as one database, if you click the plus signs, you'll see there are actually many more databases contained within each of these, so it's really well over 100 databases. And this content spans a wide range of topics for prior art, including biomed, pharma, engineering, electronics and telecommunication, and financial. You can access pre-selected groups of databases in any of these areas just by clicking an icon, or you can modify these groups as you like, or create your own groups of databases with custom shortcuts. And Dialog has this content across many kinds of documents. In addition to articles from scholarly journals in the hundreds of millions, Dialog also has newspapers. In fact, more than a thousand newspapers and wire services in one full text database. We have the ProQuest collection of full-text dissertations and theses, which is the biggest library of dissertations available anywhere. And we have magazines, government and official publications, books, blogs, business news and bulletins, new product information, and many other document types to allow a thorough, broad-based search of prior art. And on the patents side of prior art, Dialog has another 40 databases to choose from. Some are for special purposes like citations or patent litigation, and we have bibliographic records from about 110 countries for searching by inventor or assignee or using any of the patent classification codes. And for searching by terms and phrases, we have full-text patent databases for over 30 countries and patenting authorities. These contain the text both in the original language it was filed in and also the English language translations. So, you can search patents from China or Korea, for example, using English, and if you choose to, you can download these records with only the English language portions of the records. In addition to the full text, these records have enhancements like family information, legal status, citations, and more. And the sections like title, abstract, Claims or specifications can be searched separately or in any combination to give the searcher full control over the search. Patent examiners will understand that in a prior art search, you don't want to check only the so-called major patenting authorities. You want to search everywhere you can so that you don't miss anything. So all of these full-text databases are very useful and even critical to a good prior art search and Dialog's collection of these is second to none. Last but not least, remember that Dialog gives you both patents and non-patent literature all on one search platform using the same powerful search engine, the same set of easy to use search tools, and the same Dialog account for a total prior art solution. Let's talk about the qualities that a patent examiner needs in the search platform itself. Patent examiners tend to be what we call power searchers, often working with complex searches and strategies, 
with many results and large numbers of result sets. And Dialog's designed to handle all of that with a very robust infrastructure that can meet the demands of the searches done by patent examiners. But patent examiners need more than just a lot of raw computing power in a search engine. They often need to parse and analyze their searches in a very specific, very granular way in order to achieve the necessary focus. And dialogue searching, with just a few easy-to-learn syntax tools, gives the searcher the power to do whatever is needed, from a simple Google-type search to the assisted searching in advanced search mode to using command search to zero in on a subject very precisely when that is called for. With Dialog's Pro Sheets, you can see at a glance how to slice and dice the record for searching in any of hundreds of ways that may be needed for a given search. Another key function of the Dialog search language is the option to use proximity connectors as an alternative to the Boolean connector AND in order to take control over how close together you want your search terms to be. And this is one of Dialog's most flexible and useful tools. Dialog also supports very simple modes of searching. So you won't need all of Dialog's many search options all of the time. But when a patent examiner is working with large numbers of records and trying to search right down to the essence of what an invention is really about, the Dialog search language will deliver exactly what the patent examiner needs. The last point I'll talk about is that patent examiners often need to work with many patent applications in a limited amount of time, and certainly their work requires a lot of searching. To help patent examiners meet these challenges, Dialog has any number of efficiencies and time savers built in, and I'll mention only a few. Dialog helps make the examiner's work faster and easier throughout the workflow, including the initial search, refining or narrowing results, reviewing your results for making choices out of the retrievals, and also for saving and rerunning searches, as patent examiners may want to do over time. For searching, Dialog lets you quickly choose from the basic search mode for a really fast Google-type search experience, or advanced search, which provides some help from the interface for more complex searches, combining the strong search functions of field-limited searching with the convenience of drop-down boxes and checkboxes. Or you can use the command line mode when the most powerful and flexible search tools are needed. Dialog also has a lookup citations form to locate specific records quickly using minimal data and a number of specialized lookup tools to do thorough and exact searches for an author, or a publication name, or a patent assignee, among others. When your initial search has run, Dialog has tools to help you narrow down your results quickly, including the Search Within box for adding terms, or the extremely powerful set of tools called the Narrow Results by Filters to focus in on any combination of values in fields such as author, subject terms, patenting country or kind code, and much more, all with simple checkboxes and buttons. And in reviewing your results quickly to decide which ones you want to explore further, Dialog has a set of easy tools, including the Keywords in Context, or Quick View, to see at a glance how your search terms are used in the records, including a different color for each term, if you like, or you can see more about your results just by hovering your cursor over Preview. Patent examiners will appreciate that when reviewing full-text patent results, a Dialog subscription account allows you to use the images, both from multiple thumbnails in the results list and by scrolling through the images in a side-by-side -side view, if you want to, with any section of the text to help you quickly decide which patents are of interest. And finally, because patent examiners will very often encounter similar types of patent applications, search strategies can be saved 
and reused as the need arises, and Dialog gives you two easy choices. Either saving your strategies online in what's called the My Research area of your Dialog account, then rerunning them from there, or you can use Export All Searches to save your strategies to a document offline. Either method allows you to rerun an entire strategy at any time with just a couple of clicks. And there's much more. But these are some of the ways that Dialog is designed for maximum utility for patent examiners. With a vast collection of both patent and non-patent literature, a search engine that is both strong and smart, and an array of tools and options to make patent examinations faster and easier. If I had to break it down to just a couple of points, I'd say that Dialog gives you patent and non-patent searching in one platform, and provides a range of search interfaces and tools to let the patent examiner use anything from the simplest methods through the most detailed and specific search methods based on their own experience, personal choice, and the task at hand, making Dialog the best choice for patent examiners. To learn more about Dialog, here are some links for additional information. Or to speak with us and to get a free demonstration of Dialog, feel free to contact us at sales at dialog.com. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy the rest of your day.